And just like that, we are back. Yeah, I think so. I think we're just good. Oh no, let's do our muscle. Our cruise has officially begun. We just left the elevators and the best part, our keys are in the door. So let's see we if this works. I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna try and open it with the button here. Okay. Science. What? <laughs> yes, we are here. 17272. Oh, it feels good to be back. So this is our untouched by us. The only time you'll ever see it clean. Spa balcony room on deck 17. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's nice. We actually have a new camera since last time. And we're able to uh, check to autofocus on, on the little uh, screen here, which is nice. But kind of same setup as last time that we had. Really nice, pretty art. Um, nice. I don't know, really beautiful lighting and everything just that we walk into. Big TV, let's see if it says our names like last time. Um, big vanity, we're not gonna do the whole room tour because you already know what this is all about, but um, the same fridge, the convertible thing down there. And then welcoming us back to the Mardi Gras. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> welcome to Colin Jeff, not Jeffrey. Oh, wow. You grubby, you grubby guy. <laughs> but uh, right now we're actually not going to go out because um, they are fuel. I think doing some kind of natural <laughs> gas fueling. Yeah. Um, so we'll just record from here for right now because um, we aren't supposed to be recording out there. Um, but this nice Port Canaveral view. It's a gloomy day and I know we do have a hurricane I think coming in but. Some sort of storm that's in the Bahamas right now. Yep but it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so we're in the Cloud9 spot right now. We're actually gonna get a quick little tour of everything that it offers. Guys, welcome to our Caribbean salon. Myself, as a nail technician here, along with my uh, my coworker from Jamaica, Rochelle. Okay, so we just did a spot tour, like a little uh, like tour of the entire like, Cloud9, like what they offer. Uh, it so just made me so excited because like we did the regular massage and they give you like a little sampler. Um, so they do give you a scrub for the spa room, which is cool. Um, and they give you like a sample massage, just like really quick with the stone and it was really nice. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure if we had any reservations, we're probably gonna end up getting one, but um, we're making it past Piano Bar uh, 88 to go uh, back over to, I think I already see the Brass Magnolia, yep. and then to the left of it, Fortune Chambers. Yeah, it's the uh, the French Quarter section of the uh, of the Mardi Gras. We need to see if we can get one of those. Um, I know on our app it tells you everything that comes up, but I like the paper versions because I'm old school, so maybe we'll see if we can get that. But, oh, it's so good to be back. Yeah, and just the uh, view of the central area. They're setting up the stage right now for a concert. This place is going to be jumping later. And then on our way to the uh, Fortune Teller Bar is the Brass Magnolia. We're definitely going to come back here, get a French 75, yeah? Our favorite. At least our favorite here. We tend and to have a lot of favorite drums in this group. They also have the lounge right here, which has, uh, looks like they got drums and a uh, uh, cello maybe, but they had a violin quartet uh, last time we were on board. So we'll see what they have. Hey! <laughs> I, I love cruise ship. Friendliness. Yeah, goers. They, yeah, they just have such a good. Yeah, it's such a good, uh, a good vibe. And we've arrived at the Fortune Teller Bar. It's already kind of packed. We're gonna belly up right here. 
change of plans, the fortune teller bar is actually doing their safety briefing right now, so we'll be back in a little bit. So in the meantime, we're going to stop at the Brass Magnolia right here. Okay, so right now, uh, we just left the Brass Magnolia. We're skipping the fortune teller for now. We're gonna, definitely going to be back. Well, but we caught it right, right during the drill. So they had to shut down both the bars, and by the time we got this lanyard, because theme parks, I'm used to lanyards now, uh, <laughs> we got back and Brass Magnolia was right there. I'm going to run for our deal with We're out of shape. It's going to be a long period of walking up here. But we're headed to Pig and Anchor right now uh, to watch some football. All right, and we are arriving at the Guys Pig and Anchor, the barbecue joint on the Carnival Mardi Gras. We're gonna go see if we can watch some football. And they have the Heroes Lounge right over here, which uh, has a couple big screens. It looks like Alabama and Georgia Tech and Ole Miss are playing. Yeah, the look in here is so fun. It really is. Up, like and here's the game we're looking for: Houston and Kansas. And Houston. Just scored. Here we go. All right, we, we just arrived for the first touchdown of the game. He's our good luck. All right, <laughs> understood. <laughs> Man, how about that? You want a bottle of water? That's all it took. Man. How you doing, man? I'm not even wearing my coop stuff. Touchdown right when we walked up. How about that? We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. All right, so we have the Woodford Reserve Old Fashioned. We both uh, double, oak. Yeah, it's double oak. Yeah, old fashioned. Don't forget it. <laughs> so this is actually, uh, I don't know if you can see the menu, it's kind of actually dark. Yeah, you definitely can't see it. But it's a, uh, what, $16 cocktail? Yeah, $16. Yeah. Bacon. Yeah, so. package is so worth it. Bacon. Definitely. It's so worth it. Especially, like, for us, we like to sample a little bit of everything. We're looking at the Bloody Mary mix over here. Well, the, I guess it's uh, vegetable infused Tito's, um, which they're making Bloody Mary's. You can see he's making one right now. Yeah, that is. Uh, if, if I can even last until tomorrow, I'll get one tomorrow morning. <laughs> but yeah, um, vegetable infused vodka, which I like, that blew my mind. So I think that's so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of nice um, like whiskeys, bourbons, um, like draft beers. I just found out that you can do the. Um, the draft beer flight for um, the drink package. It counts as one drink. They're only five ounce fours, but really that's 20 ounces of beer for one drink. So that's that's great. Good good value. Yep. So we're gonna drink these uh, drinks right here. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> Watch some football and then uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to you. Keep All right. So we're stepping outside right now because we're just now pulling away. Nicole tapped the button. <laughs> Got another button to tap up here, maybe, I don't know. I got you, I got you, I got you. Bam. Oh, and the wind's a little bit crazy, so hope you don't hear a lot of wind. But we're pulling out. We are headed to Mexico. And it feels good. Well, it really feels good because we're winning, too. Yes, we are. Nothing about better than a U of H uh, lead and sailing away for a cruise. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna drop this camera. Please help. Man, it, I, I'm not gonna lie, the overcast, it was humid earlier, but now it feels really good, so. Oh, it feels great. I'll take it. The wind's a little much, so I hope, the, I hope the microphone is not like yeah, getting like crazy wind right now, but. Yeah, but you, you got to do the, the sail away. Yeah, there's a crazy party going on up top. I can actually hear the music from here, but uh, yeah. as much as I want to be there, I think the uh, the U of H game and then the I mean, possibility of winning the spa. The spa oh yeah, yeah. We, we we entered a contest to win some spa treatments. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna head over there in about like 20 minutes and see if we won. That's well, creepy, but it looks beautiful. It feels great. On we go. All right, so moving forward, we're uh, actually going to take a quick break and do our first dinner at uh, the teppanyaki and sushi place, uh, Banzai. Uh, get a light sushi dinner, and then we're going to check into Kuchina for, like, dinner dinner, right? 
But then in between them, we're going to watch football. And what else are we doing? Hopefully watch football. Hopefully we're watch football. Late, but uh, besides that, just hanging out and drinking. Yeah. All right, so we're sitting down for first dinner in this beautiful restaurant. We got sat right by the window by this beautiful man. <laughs> uh, but we're going to dig in, I think, to maybe... Oh, I might try that appetizer tonight, actually, but Miso soup. I don't want to do too much. Know that um, it's like a braised short rib, the kakuni, I think. If we're doing dinner at Cucina, I'm just going to get a roll and go on a day. Yeah, so, okay, so he's going to do a roll, and I think I'm going to do that appetizer, and then some uh, sashimi, and then maybe some sake, so I don't yeah, know. I guess, I guess stay tuned to see what we do. <laughs> Orders are in. The sahi is here. Cheers. Cheers. Clank. Okay, so first things first, right here, we have the Kakuni uh, slow braised beef short ribs, caramelized onion, and teriyaki sauce. Um, it looks like it's served with like a small salad, just looks like a normal salad. Um, but I watched plenty of cruise videos before this, and somebody said that this is one of their favorite appetizers they've ever had on a cruise ship. Um, it looks like it's kind of like a small bun um, and the teriyaki sauce is drizzling over. Um, I'm very excited to try this. We'll dig in. I, I don't even think this is something I should record eating because I don't even know how this is going to look eating this. Um, that being said, I'm very excited so we will report back on how this is. Yeah. So here's the short rib appetizer um, and soon behind that came my salmon and tuna sashimi. And then you got a spicy tuna roll? Spicy tuna roll. So it's got spicy tuna, cucumber, uh, spicy mayo, and topped with, uh, I guess, crispy. It's like a little crispy string. noodle crispy string noodle. thing. Yeah, it looks awesome though. Yeah, really, really, good. really, really good. <clears throat> All right, we're digging in. Okay, so just to give you an update, <clears throat> we uh, destroyed the appetizer here. Oh and my gosh. Uh, what was this called again? Uh, so this was the Kakuni, the slow braised beef short ribs. And this was phenomenal. One of the best appetizers I actually ever had at a sushi restaurant. I would say at a sushi restaurant. I, I was going to say on a cruise ship, but I, I would strive to say like at a sushi restaurant. It was so tender. It had like a fattiness that provided that like really full flavor without it being like bristly or gritty. It just, it just melted in your mouth, it yeah, really did. Yeah, and the, the bun underneath it too was super tender. I wish I could have a picture, but we just crossed those. <laughs> the bun was like really tender, and, and just the, the savory profile of the teriyaki sauce that went with it, phenomenal. Um, I haven't been into mine yet, but last time it was super fresh. It was amazing. Beautiful um, display though too. Yeah, this is like honestly gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, but we did try Jeff's uh, spicy tuna roll, and the spicy tuna was super fresh. Bro. The, the crunchies were awesome. Uh, the spicy mayo on top, phenomenal. So this, like our, our choice to come for free dinner is awesome, but we might come for dinner dinner later because this is... I, I really want to come for the omakase, so they do um, the omakase, which is at the sushi bar. It's the um, the chef choice. So the chef pretty much creates a meal for you for $22, and that's like $100 a person sometimes if you do it on land. So I think I either want to do that or the sushi boat, because I've always wanted to do a sushi boat. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we do. But we're coming back here for sure. Yeah, this is phenomenal. So we're going to keep eating and... Ooh, Get this done. Right, so Jeff is not aware of this, but apparently people hide ducks in cruises. So we thought we'd jump in, and we got these tiny little babies. They're so cute, little cuties. Um, but we've got these signs just saying, "Oh, what? What? You found a duck?" And uh, <laughs> and so, anyways, we're going to hide a couple of these guys, and one of them even has a ticket for a free drink if you can find us. So. I don't know. It'll be very interesting to see as the cruise goes along because we, we really didn't even keep track which one has it. So um, if you find one, come find us. But it'll be too late because this is posted like two weeks later. Maybe. All right. So U of H is having a go. A rough time. So we're going to red drink so we can hopefully help them out. Two big Bloody Marys. A little spicy, a lot of bacon, a lot of love. Is it enough? I'm not happy. 
<laughs> He's not happy. We'll see. Dinner at Katina has arrived. So we're trying to not get the flickers. So here's my tuna appetizer. And then Jeff has all but crushed his known as meatball? Nope. Known as meatball. So it's it's obviously a good meatball. Very good. Yeah, very good. Um, and we've got our red wine, J. Lore. Boom. Boom. It's delicious. It's nutritious. We're eating it. All right, I was about to crush this meal, but oh my gosh, this is a heart here. They love me just as much as I love them. Okay, so we just finished our dinner at Cucina del Capitano. It was outstanding. I got the chicken parmesan, Nicole got the pistachio crust and pasta. Um, right now, we're headed over back to <laughs> uh, Pig and Anchor. We're gonna try and catch the Michigan State game. I think they're playing Washington. So in these bushes over by yep. the pools by the uh, pig anchor, we're yep. hiding a duck. Yep. So we just literally but, swapped but, it but out. But we actually just found one here. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure if Let's we can see. read this. Miss Tanya Snowden, Baltimore, Maryland. Super cute. And oh my gosh, look at this duck. <laughs> this little sailor duck. Yeah, he is the cutest. So we got our guy there. Should we should we should we rehide this or should we Yeah, yeah. I think we re will rehide it, yeah. Yeah, we'll take we'll take a picture with him. Yeah. And definitely. uh try to contact Miss Tanya Snowden. Uh but oh my gosh, he's the cutest, so <laughs> yeah. We did it! We found one. We found one. Okay, so Nicole and I are in the arcade right now. Nicole's <laughs> trying to win some turtles. So Nicole won so many ducks over here. She got ducks. And a turtle. And a turtle. I'm, I'm over here trying to win a damn GoPro. I so, bet you feel dumb. I do feel dumb. I, I, yep. I feel great. You got a winner here. Good afternoon, everybody, from day two. C day. C day on the Carnival Mardi Gras. <laughs> day two, first C day. <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard for me. We, uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start this morning. Uh, we slept in, and uh, last night was kind of wild. Um, lost a phone, found a phone, lost a husband, found a husband. Yep. It was great. But we did it. We're here. We're in one piece. Yeah, and we ended up getting room service, and I think falling asleep at like 5 mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we got up around 11, getting a little sleepy start, but isn't that what cruising is all about? Yep. So um, right now, I guess we're going to go to Pig and Anchor? Yes. Yes. Because yep. I'm craving the macaroni and cheese from... Uh, last year so i'm hoping it's the same um what we found last time is that the mac and cheese at lunch was a way better than dinner so we're gonna go put it to the test and see if it still is so let's do it okay so we were just inside uh pig and anchor on a sunday um, yep yeah, it was football sunday it was bananas crazy in there just people yelling and screaming and and just watching football and having a good time so yeah. <laughs> i'll show what it looked like <laughs> They used to have the buffet uh, outside right over here, but I'm guessing they uh, just decided not to do it today, so it's all inside. Uh, the line's a little long, but uh, this is basically just what they Okay, have. so this time around, like he was saying, it is inside, it's really busy, so we'll try to show you um, a little bit what it looks like. Usually it was outside, um, but I tend to like the lunch better because it tastes a little bit, like to me, fresher and hotter. Um, so we'll see if that uh, that's the case today. <laughs> Okay, so we're here again at, is it Bonsai Sushi? Is that what we're called? Bonsai Sushi? Eating pre-dinner 2.0 pre-dinner so Nicole actually is she got this appetizer some edamame and then sashimi because she's trying to be healthy yeah that uh, same appetizer that I got yesterday the beef mm -hmm. yeah 
I could not get it. And then I was like, I want edamame because I want greens. Greens and then uh, salmon sashimi, like you said. This tea is phenomenal. It's in this little kettle that has... Um, kind of dark. Yeah, but it has like fresh ground tea in it. Which I kind of thought they like just brewed it from like... I, I just assumed it was like a little mixture, like a, a pod, but nothing like that where it's fresh. Um, and the blue, I think remember what the Bellini's name is, but um, the Bellini is really good as well as it has um, St. Germain uh, elderflower look here. But everything is phenomenal. That, and then I keep taking advantage of the San Benedetto uh, sparkling water that comes with our pack. <laughs> so. And me, on the other hand, I went to Shaq's Chicken and got a zombie. So I was not being healthy at all. Just as healthy. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not trying to be healthy. It's just delicious. Like, it is really, it really. To be healthy. It's very yeah. good here. Mm -hmm. But I think after this, we're headed over to the spa, right? The uh, thermal suite. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's where we're headed next. Heck yeah. How is it? Feels so good. So nice, right? Oh, I thought that was opening. <laughs> it scared me. I love these chairs right here. It's like the ergonomic chairs. This is. Yeah, this is nuts though like okay so just to give you an idea this is uh the first day at sea and this place is ours literally all to ourselves like nobody in the chairs nothing this is awesome oh oh great <laughs> how's it feel All right, so we're taking this quick moment to enjoy this beautiful room. But the Himalayan uh, salt walls are supposed to detox your body, which I think we are in serious need of detox right now. What is this green? I think that's the light. Yeah, it turns on these. Yeah. Here. Yeah, so like if you put your back against these, it gets so hot so quick. Hi. And you saw Jeff earlier going through um, the rain, it's like a, like a rain shower, which is so cool. Really, really neat. I can feel, I can feel that it's warm. It is warm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is just, uh, aromatherapy, so it's like a eucalyptus, uh, so you can get, you know, you get that nice eucalyptus, like, smell, and, yeah. you know, breathe that in. Uh, and then this one is just a steam room. Yep. You can open the doors and just take a Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be a little steamy, but... Oh my gosh, this one is our favorite. It's got these really nice tile um, benches. <laughs> and then, yeah, if you spray this water on yourself. It's cold, it feels so good. Oh my God, if you do that in here, it feels amazing. Aha. And this is actually nice and cool, so this one is really good. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, but beautiful. Beautiful thermal suites, we love it. And everybody was saying it was so busy, but like right now. It's completely empty. Yep, this but, is ours. Well, we're also uh, in the middle of like, well not in the middle of like the start of uh, dinner. Night. Yeah. So everyone's getting ready. So yep. we should probably be doing this soon. Yeah, we will. We'll be behind them shortly, but until then we'll be enjoying this. Yep. performances right here. Really, really neat. In the middle of everything. Okay, so we're sitting right now at uh, the Flamingo restaurant. It is obviously foam formal night. I'm wearing my suit. Nicole's wearing her dress. Uh, we just ordered our wine and well, we ordered our wine and food like 10 minutes ago. But <laughs> um, our salad our appetizers uh, have arrived. I got a spinach salad with blue cheese dressing. Uh, this is the uh, pork, it's blackened pork uh, tart. So it's basically just like just like like seared pork on a uh, like little crostini tartlet, tartlet, I guess. <laughs> and then Nicole got the, uh, the cream of mushroom soup, yeah, mushroom which is soup. great, right? It's so good. It's literally one of the best like warm soups I've had in a while. I love it. Okay, so the food has arrived. 
Nicole ordered the prime rib, and that came with a baked potato and broccoli. Mm. And we also both got lobster tails because it is lobster night. So. Everyone has risotto on them. Yep, and it comes with the uh, risotto. And drawn butter. And for myself, I got the uh, striped bass, so just pan fried bass with potato gnocchi and green beans. And then another lobster tail as well. So. More. All right, the final course is here. I am going to have to fight to get this down, but it's the chocolate cake that's so good. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm dying. Okay, so we're back in the room just to leave right again. We're just kind of freshening up after dinner. Mm -hmm. um, saw the celestial strings. Uh, people, we walked past those, but we didn't really stop. Um, but we just listened, which it was just kind of cool because Grand Central, you're able to kind of just walk past and enjoy the shows without really committing to sitting down in the theater. And um, one other thing we did, we started feeling brave and we went and booked a massage for yes. the both of us for tomorrow. Yep. And one thing to note, if you are actually interested in doing a massage mm -hmm. on board, uh, make sure that you do it on a port day mm -hmm. if you don't have any excursions because it's actually how much discount? So it was one one ninety nine a person, and then they marked it down to one twenty nine. One twenty nine still is like cruise ship like cheap, but yeah. um, you know you you get what you pay for when you're on when you're on a cruise. Yeah. The the room is beautiful, and for a couple's massage, it's worth the experience yeah. for us. So um, we're very excited to do that, and um, hopefully we'll be able to show a little bit of the room and kind of what it looks like, but. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So that'll actually be at noon while we're in port at Cozumel tomorrow. Yep. Um, we'll get off a little bit after, but um, before that, we're going to go and just enjoy our evening, probably hit a couple cocktails up. Um, Portadilla Bar, yeah. Brass Magnolia, maybe Alchemy. So yeah, in Havana. Around. Yeah. Basically yeah. just bar hop tonight. Yep, exactly. So we got a couple drinks left to do. Um, it was nice. We kind of took a little bit of a break midday, so uh, mm -hmm. we're back at it again. Yep. Fortune teller drink number two, this is the boriest, I'm sorry, is uh, Bog Juice. So, so this beautiful guy that almost looks like it would be in Galaxy's Edge, that has those little uh, boba balls on it. It's uh, Silly Vodka, Passion Fruit, Kiwi, Pineapple, Lemon, and Top to Sierra Mist. She's a beaut. And what do you have? So this is the Absent Minded. I'm going to borrow this from you, actually. So. <laughs> so this has um, Absinthe, uh, Bombay Sapphire Gin, um, Bayou Satsuma Liquor, uh, <laughs> Lilit Lemon, Rogan's Orange Bitters, number six. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. She, like, she had um, something that she sprayed in it. Yeah, some sort of spray, and I should have asked what it was, but I didn't. That is strong. Good. Oh, it's strong. Good. Good. Very good. Strong drink. Though. What's the main main flavor you taste? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. That that the uh, the bitters. Bitters. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna dig into mine too. This is like I know this one's supposed to be a little bit uh, fruity or so. Let's go. So as we're drinking, our neighbors at the bar, we found out have four straws. So we're gonna see, this is challenge accepted, we're gonna see just how fast she can drink this drink with all four straws. So let's see it, I'm very excited. You look like a walrus, or Ace Ventura. You know, Ace Ventura, what nature calls. Okay. See, that's that's very impressive. Okay. That actually really is impressive. You're gonna get a brain freeze. All right, brain freeze, how was it? It's getting clogged by the ice. Okay, so what do you taste, lime? Strawberry? You have a strawberry one? I don't know what I taste. <laughs> She's like everything, anything. Well, Thank I mean, yeah. I have making Zane alcohol shirt in my room. That's so funny. Where did you get it? I made it. Oh, I got it I off the machine for like seven dollars. Okay, oh. fair enough. Fair enough.
my speed. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Do you like smoky cocktails? I love. Yeah, I mean, I, that's like all I, if I would be able to drink just that all the time, I would. Have you ever tried Bloody Mary smoking? No. It's amazing. Wow. But we don't do it here. Yeah. We don't do Bloody Mary. Yeah. I bet Pig and Anchor could probably. Thank you. Expensive wish. Yeah. Woo